hi you're welcome back to my channel today i'll be talking about some mites or some things that are not really true when you want to study medicine and surgery you know before you study medicine and surgery they would have told you a lot of things but there are some things that are not actually true and today i'm going to be talking about those things that are not true for example it is always said that before you can study medicine you have to be very intelligent you have to be this that and that but it doesn't really work that way because there are people in other departments that are more intelligent than those that are studying medicine or there are some people that are studying medicine and they are not really like um let me say the smartest in their society and all things like that so what are the things that you actually need before you come to study medicine and surgery you just need um consistency diligence and some other things that i'll be talking about in this video so before we continue i'd like you to please click on the subscription button and then turn on your notification so we can write together in this video so um quickly let's continue into what we have today first of all you don't have to be perfect before you come into medicine and surgery some of you if i ask you your department if i say something like medicine uh, you'll be like no i can't read for long i can't do that for long you don't have to be perfect already you just have to keep improving by the day what do i mean by that there are some people that normally you don't have the habit of reading for some hours or reading for like ah, how can i sit down and just read for eight hours how can i just sit down and do this and all but it doesn't start in a day the journey of a thousand miles does not start in a day you just need to start one day and start um working on yourself and then keep improving just start working on yourself and then keep improving so like i said earlier you don't need to be perfect in order to study and um, to come in to study medicine and then another thing i would like to talk about is you don't have to be what extremely intelligent somebody said it, something someone that's already a doctor said that you don't need to be too intelligent to study medicine you just need to have a good ischial tuberosity what is ischial tuberosity it is a bone that you sit on as i'm sitting down now i am sitting on my ischial tuberosity if you're sitting there you're also sitting on your ischial tuberosity so he said you don't need to be too intelligent to study medicine you just need to have a good ischial tuberosity and i so much agree with him because um it's not as if you just need to be perfect or extremely good or something like that you don't need to be every way that's a book <laughs> so much of book to study medicine you just need to be able to calm yourself sit down and then study actually you need to study but like i said earlier you have to work on yourself to start learning how to study like just keep working on yourself and improving daily when a test is coming just keep improving daily when this one is coming just keep improving on yourself and before you know it, you are getting there that just it again i just wanted to tell you that um you need yes you actually need to be diligent you actually need to be resi resilient and you need to be consistent consistency is very important because it's not a sprint it's not something that you do gra 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 and it's finished no it's a marathon it's something that you need to take step by step step by step because in medicine even our consultants don't know everything so yourself you cannot know everything at once you just need to keep improving yourself proving yourself daily like even our professors they don't know everything because in medicine like one of my lecturers would say is a skill it's a skill that you need to learn and then you need to keep improving yourself by the day so um basically you need self-improvement and you need to be consistent with reading you need to diligently write your notes sometimes actually the truth is that um it can be overwhelming at some point studying medicine can be quite overwhelming that is the truth but then when you are consistent it is better to be consistent than to be extremely intelligent as a medical student it's better to be consistent than to be extremely intelligent because it is what you have read even if you are intelligent that you will know but someone that's consistent and has read everything and is has a general knowledge will be able to apply what he or she has learned to subject matter but if you have not even um, read it how will you apply it so it's very very good for you to be consistent to be resilient and then to be diligent when you are coming in to um, study medicine so what else do i need to say i just want to wish you a very very good luck especially some of you that just wrote jam and are coming in to study medicine and surgery so i wish you sincerely good luck and then i pray that you are going to get this course all right thank you